Do value voters still matter? I mean, there are some people saying that the only thing that matters in this election cycle are the economic issues. Got a couple of people that might disagree with that just a little bit. Tony Perkins is the head of the Family Research Council, one of the most respected family organizations in America. And someone who knows Iowa inside and out is Steve Dace, who for a long time had the number one rated afternoon talk show on WHO. He's just now recently gone national with Salem Broadcasting. Uh, Steve Dace, remarkable person who understands Iowa. Uh, Tony, let me start with you. Today, you saw a values voter candidate, Michelle Bachman, win uh, this race. She never backed away from her positions on life and on marriage. In fact, she uh, made it a centerpiece of her message. Smart strategy? Well, if you look at how all of the races ended up, even Ron Paul, at the last speech that he gave to the straw poll, he spent most of his time talking about the value issues and the value of human life and why you have to stand for life. So if you go back 27 years when you had one value voter on the, on the ballot, you had, uh, uh, you had uh, uh, Pat Robertson, today the ballot is dominated by social conservatives. I think that shows that the, uh, the impact of the values voters on Republican politics is growing. It's not diminishing in any way. Steve, do, do we have the possibility that the value voters uh, will think that they just need to tone it down a little bit this time because, you know, we got to focus on jobs and the economy. Is there a conflict? Do we have to pick one or the other? No, in fact, you can't have a small government governor without strong families. I mean, if you look at it, whether it's Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, the welfare state, all of this is a byproduct of the breakdown of the family. So really, as fiscal conservatism is a manifestation of what goes on on a social level. And I think what's interesting is, you know, we had this controversial marriage pledge that a friend of yours, Bob Vanderplatz's yep. group, put out a few weeks ago. And this was just pillaged and, and, and plundered all over the country. Well, the candidate that won it today was the first to sign the pledge. Rick Santorum, who was on your stage the last segment, he was the first to commit to signing it, and he finished a lot stronger than people thought. I don't think that's a coincidence. That's an interesting point to make. And, and, and to that, uh, Iowa voters are, uh, are, are tough. They're tough because they ask tough questions, and they, they, they don't, uh, what I would say, just take platitudes right. Right. easily. What was the difference that you saw in Iowa for Michelle Bachman today? Sincerity. I really think the most important thing for Iowa voters is sincerity. We saw this in your race. You go back four years ago, the race between you and Mitt Romney, you were the more sincere candidate in the minds of voters. They saw in more integrity there, which I define as a consistency of belief and behavior. They saw more of it in you than they saw in Mitt Romney, and that's why you won and he didn't. Tony, it's one thing in Iowa, but what about the rest of the country? This may not work so well in, in Vermont. It may not work in California. So how does a Michelle Bachman take this message and go forward. She is a complete conservative. She does understand the economy. She spoke very clearly on the debt ceiling debate. And people understand, just as Steve said, if you want to shrink the size of government, you've got to strengthen the family. And her enemies make a big mistake, just like they did with you. Mm -hmm. Remember they attacked you over your faith? I remember it very well, yeah. yes. <laughs> and you know what happened? You just shot up through the roof, and I think the more that they attack her, the stronger that her response from the American people who are they don't trust the media, they don't trust politicians, and who's attacking her? The media and politicians. I think she has, uh, she has great potential. I'm very encouraged by the outcome of the Iowa straw poll and the candidates who finished. I think you've got a strong slate of candidates to take the message forward. Well, I think it's important. Both of you guys have a, a, a very clear understanding, not of, only of Iowa, but of the process nationally. Tony Perkins, Steve Dace, thank both of you thank very you. much for coming. Thanks,